tiled floor. Mm. Right. It's funny. Oh, look, we're on something called, I don't think you can see that from there, Maxwell Road, that is. But uh, even wandering around, trying to find somewhere nice and quiet, you come across stuff like this, which is quite nice. Nice little sculpture at the entrance to some unnamed building. I have no idea what it is. Didn't bother to check. I have no interest, really, in big, faceless buildings. Now, if, I, if you pull back, you can kind of see what it is. If you imagine a piece of paper with a circle cut into a circle, and then perhaps fold it in half so you can cut out a square on the inside, and then kind of <coughs> squeezed a little, you get that shape. Maybe if I walk around, you'll be able to build a two-dimensional image, three-dimensional image of it in your head from this two-dimensional image of the observe. Oh, look at that. It's getting kind of kinky there, isn't it? I know women that shape. Whoa, and unfortunately, I know women that shape. I photographed one in Italy. She's huge. She was American, obviously. <laughs> what a sort of huge person is that. Now, that is pleasant to look at. And I think it should just be left at that. But something down here, written, which I guess has to be looked at. I am getting quite quite handy with this camera. I'm not really, but... Right, what have we got here? Ah, this sculpture, entitled Celestial Earth, comprises the two elementary forms, a square caught from the centre of a circular frame. This embodies the Confucian philosophy of square within, circle without. Now, my quick capsule review, does it fuck? absolute bollocks. All it is is like, if you're sitting there, oh Confucius, he says square within, circle without, and then you think, right, let's put me, let's switch the imagination button on, let's turn it up to max, what's the best I can come up with? Ah, a circle, and I'll uh, uh, cut a square out of it, you know? Fuck me, man. That in no way embraces or helps to convey in three-dimensional in relief the, the paradox inherent in what Confucius, he say. It's nice to look at, but that's it. If that's the limit of your imagination from what a uh, certain sage says, then fair enough. And you've always got to be wary of what sages say, because they're into paradox, you know? If you say something paradoxical, they'll just look at you afterwards going, Mmm, you've got to think about it, mate. Won't make any sense if you try and work it out immediately. But let's get back to this, right? Look at this shit. I'm starting to get angry now. Well, at least it's a listen and a response in you. That's what I was meant to do. Fuck off. This sculpture and title Celestial Earth, fair do, hippie shit, call it what you want, it's your work, comprises the two elementary forms. I wouldn't say a circle's elementary, it's got some fantastic qualities in. Uh, where were we? From the square court from the centre of the circular frame. This embodies the Confucian philosophy of square within, circle without. That embraces it as much as him hearing the, the, the little... Uh, it, ooh, I can't remember who said it, it might have even been Confucius. You can make the sound of two hands clapping. Now, how does one hand sound, right? You lay that on a five-year-old and he immediately gets his hand like this, so it's going like this. I mean, well, there, God, that's on the same fucking level of imagination. It's the same thing. Confucius, he said, stick it outside a faceless building. It's where it deserves. I enjoyed that before I read that shit. He's gone and just took a big shit on his own art. Maybe that's part of the art experience, writing a load of shit about something which was perfectly good on its own. Look at that, fucking one hand clapping. Piece of shit. Walk away.